Welcome back to Let's Play AT2 with Pirate Ulfman! Arr, I let me guard down! How could I? <laughs> oh, translators. But you know, I won't die here. I shall continue to live! Because this world needs me. And I'm not saying that out of arrogance. I'm saying it out of devotion. Do you know why? <laughs> I don't even want to know. Oh, what the hell? Whoa! What's going on? That is a good question. What is going on? Oh, that's not a good sign. Permission to speak. There was an explosion in the lower control room. We believe the sacred army planted a bomb. Impossible. Do they plan to abandon their own knights? Either way, we need to get out of here. Wait, the heart is still here somewhere. But there's no time to look for it. I can't just leave Lady Cloche to die. Let's go. Arguing here is just a waste of time. We're gonna look for it as long as we can. Until we run out of time. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to pull through with my own will. Huh? Hurry, let's go. Whatever that means, Luca. Alright. Nice. Well, that was door number two. <laughs> uh, ooh. This is a hallway. Well, the Sacred Army are dicks. They just pretty much destroyed this ship. What do we have here? A punkish mace? Droopy soda? I think that punkish mace is for coconut. I could have used that for the fight against Altman, but... Oh, well. Yeah, that is for coconut. That is indeed for... That is the first weapon upgrade I think Kokona has had. Wow, that is a huge boost. I didn't realize that she was running on something so outdated. Uh, we can also change up the girl power a little bit. We'll give you Tentuk. Um, we'll give Kokona somebody new as well. Nina. You're good. Ah, time for me to switch too. Uh, Higure. We'll just be changing that stuff up. Now, I hate using Amory just because I, I hate her moves. They're just kind of annoying and they take too long. Let's get the ye olden favorite duo, Croy and Coconut, back up here. And where should I go? Let's go to the right first. Is there treasure? No, there is not. To the left, everybody! To the left, to the left, to the left. Uh, there's nothing to the further to the left. We just need to keep going down the hall. Oh, no, not that music. That's how you know it's Jackley. Just that theme starts to play. Jackley! You again? You're so persistent. I didn't think you'd come all this way. What did you do with the heart? Give it back! Since when did it become yours? The heart? I earned it. I'll do whatever I want with it to fulfill my ideals. Indeed. We will use the heart of Gaia for our plans. You're going to betray the Grand Bell? Betray? We were never even allies. I don't need them anymore, so I just left. Are you the ones who blew up the control room? Hmm, <laughs> maybe. You! This isn't good. It's getting smaller faster than I expected. What? I need to hurry. Wait! I don't bother me. I don't have time. I need to fulfill my gold before she disappears. What do you mean? Ah, oh, not the suit again. Sadly, our playtime ends now. Although, even if you live, this world is already over. That's right. Our ideals are not bound to this place. I'm sorry, but the people of Metafaust shall be sacrificed. Along with you. Oh! Oh, what? Y you! 
What are you? Thanks for all your help until now. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, damn. Uh, whose side is Jack Lee on? <laughs> now we just gang up on loud. I love it. It's like, well, she's gone. Uh, time to screw you over. There's nothing to talk to you about. Oh, God, this is not going well. Oh, he's booking it. Wait, we can't chase him now. The ship is crashing, remember? Luca's right. We need to escape. Well, I have a feeling the way to escape is... Oh, all right. Yeah, back to the deck. That was a close one. Someone was about to cra cash in on your life insurance. Now hurry. <laughs> life insurance. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to be cashing in on my life insurance. I commend you on disciplining all of them. However, Captain Leglius, Croy, after all, Alfman was your master of sorts. You laid your hands on him quite easily. That's fine, however. I cannot feel safe making you my own knight since you took your last boss's head. As expected of you, Croy, you did betray me after all. What are you on about, Targana? I swear, if you get any more cryptic, I will have your head. Hey, Crow, you were friends with Prince Targana a long time ago, right? Yeah. I still can't believe you were friends with the Imperial family. I was surprised when I met, saw him, too. When we were young, I thought it was just a joke. And so, what did you do to betray him? Oh, that? It's probably because we made a pact a long time ago to make a nation where everyone can live happily. But one day Targana disappeared. I was really worried, but I never saw him there again. A few years later, I entered the Grand Bell to help Ms. Raisha and Luca. To him, the Grand Bell is the enemy, so he sees that as a betrayal. I see. Lady Cloche. Damn, where the hell did Jack Lee go? Um, Croy, I think I might be able to find out where Jack Lee went. Really? Yeah, well, probably. If I go there... Hey, Soup! <laughs> oh god, I think I know what she's thinking. We're gonna find Cloche through the Infosphere. I think? Where are we going? I would imagine the Infosphere, but... I'm gonna go now. Cool, I'm sure you'll be able to meet Lady Cloche in the Infosphere. Yeah, the Infosphere. I was right. Luca, are you okay with going in alone? Croy? Jeez. Uh. Hmm, what's that supposed to mean? I need to concentrate, so don't come inside my room. I just hope Lady Cloche knows where she is. And. And I hope she'll still talk to me. You guys thought we were done with the Infosphere, did you? Nope. There's still Infosphere to go. Though it's more positive now. Luca's kind of late. Lady Cloche, please tell us where you are. By the way, you. Huh? Me? Don't you need to go back to the Sacred Army? Oh, come on. That's the old me. Or what? Do you still not trust me? Like, I'm their spy or something? What, are you stupid? Ouch, you don't need to be that harsh, Amory. Everyone, I know where Lady Cloche is. She's at this place called the Cat Mansion. Cat Mansion? This sounds like a place that I would visit in my nightmares. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of cats. I'm allergic to them, they hate me, they scratch the living shit out of me whenever I see them, I, nah, no. Cats, me, no, don't mix. Now dogs, on the other hand, dogs are something I could get behind, I love dogs. 
Do, do, do. Cat Mansion has been added to the world map. Cool, we have a destination. Uh, I don't know where we are. Where are we? We don't have any, um, any talk topics to talk about, so we should just head out. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. Do, do, do. Ah, we're back in, um, Anna. Yeah, let's, let's rest still. We could still do with a bit of a patch job. <laughs> like, Omri's missing half her goddamn health. Which is, uh, which is not good. Um, no, not particularly. That's kind of a lie. I do know why. Just not gonna tell you. Oh, actually, no. While we're here, before we head off to the Cat Mansion... Now that we're finally back on Metafouse, we can actually visit all of the Synthesis locations. Well then, Croy, how about we raise the level on Medicinal Synthesis? I doubt I can do anything that difficult all of a sudden. You see, by doing the difficult things first, your skills will go up quickly. And I'll be there to watch you over it, you don't need to worry. Well, I guess that should work. <laughs> In theory, recipe for basic compound has been added. All right, let's see if we can actually make this. I'm counting on you during the synthesis, Speaker. If you're counting on me, that makes me feel good. I'll hold your hand through every step of the way. You don't have to go that far. <laughs> ah, oh, it's good to be back on solid ground and away from Gaia. All right, can we actually make this? Yes, we can. We can make probably quite a few. We'll make three of these. You can't use any fire this time? Fire? I think I'll be fine without it. Good, if you do, we'll be in big trouble. Trouble? What could happen? It's gonna explode, isn't it? Yeah, Luca will get blown away. No! I'm scared now! <laughs> Don't make her panic while she's making dangerous stuff! That is a bad idea. That's bad news bears all over. Uh, she made a candle. It's a pretty good one you made. The flammable chemical? It won't explode, but it'll burn very intensely, so be careful. Yeah, seriously, I'm glad this place didn't blow up. That's why I stopped at intense burning. So what is it? It's just an ingredient. Kept away from fire, try not to get blown away. We finally made fuel. It won't explode when lit up, but it will burn intensely. You know, actually, that's not a bad... Like, just thinking about it as an item, that isn't a bad thing. It's probably, like, superheated, which could be very helpful. And it's not a volatile fuel, which is, well, I guess, I guess good. Ah, the world map music has changed now in Phase 2, which is handy. It's kind of cool. Uh, if I remember correctly, can I even make things at the general store with Luca? I don't even remember. But I'm sure there's a scene with Sasha. Oh no, there isn't. Maybe I need Cloche. Can we actually even make anything? Oh, I can. Uh, but, no. Uh, oh. There's Dulathenor crystals here. Um, please and thank you. God's love. Oh, all right, fine. I will buy it. Don't need to tell me twice. I guess maybe we need to wait till Cloche is back to have the scenes. It, probably the scene we're waiting for is one that involves Cloche, which is why it won't trigger now, which is fine. Checking in on all these, um, these, uh, what is it? The, the synthesis shops is kind of important because you get some cool stuff if you keep it up. Ah, all right, so Skycat has stuff for us now. That's convenient. To the Axis Courtyard. Do you have anything new for me, old man? You do! You have... You actually have, like, dual Athenode crystals. That's phenomenal. <laughs> I really I really do need to check, like, every vendor I can, because some of them will probably have dual Athenode crystals I never picked up. Because I either glossed over it, or I just didn't have the money. What is the most expensive dish at a restaurant? Um, something that takes a lot of ingredients? 
You're boring. <laughs> uh, a full course meal. Well, okay, I can kind of, I can kind of understand that, especially after being in Europe, where there was like full course meals on the menu, and like some of them were like sixty bucks, or like fifty, fifty bucks, sixty bucks. It was like a whole bunch of crap. So you want us to try making an actual full course meal. Number one full course. All right, well, I guess we'll give it a shot. Oh no, something fun that usually doesn't end well for us. Uh, let's give it a shot. Do we have the stuff for it? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Well, make three. Why do we need butterfly balls? Oh god, that kind of terrifies me a little bit. I've never made a full- I've had a full course meal, so it'll all be my imagination. Ah, uh, alright, I, I guess so. Luca and cooking usually don't mix that well. I mean, look at this! Look at what she's making! That is terrifying! Oh god, and this is pretty terrifying too. The Twinkle Grill. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love how even Skycat's just like, wait, what? <laughs> what are those shiny stars? What is this? Full course punishment. Please tell me it's like another weapon. Oh no, it does actually heal. It does actually heal health. That is phenomenal. It actually is a healing item. Well, I guess that's edible cooking then, in that case. Oh god, that is that is phenomenal. Oh geez, next time on Let's Play Artinelico 2, we'll head back up to Pistalia and go visit Cynthia in the weapon shop. Maybe there might be something for us there with her. But until then, until then, this is the Musical Gamer signing off. See you guys next video.